Hello and good morning and welcome to Math Lesson for today. And today we're going to be looking at analog to digital using 24 hour clocks. That's really important to use 24 hour clocks because a lot of transport timetables, including the train, use 24 hour clocks. It's really good. We learn and we know this. And for your first question, someone I'd like to go fill in the gaps below on the 24 hour number line. Have a go on your own first and come back, pause the video, and I will explain what the answers are. Okay, so up here on this top line here would be our morning times, and down here are our evening times on a 24 hour clock. So starting with this first box here, the answer would be two. However, something to note about 24 hour time is that they always have four digits, so it's important that you put the zero in front of it. Same with this one over here, it would be, it'd be nine, but make sure you put the zero in front of it to make sure you've got those four digits. Then over here would be 15, because 15 is in between 14 and 16, with 19 here, and finally 22 here. I don't know if you noticed, there's a little bit of a trick you can work out the evening times using the morning times if you really do struggle with 24 hour time. If you look at the difference between these numbers is 12. Difference between these numbers is 12. This is also 12. That is 12. That is 12. That is 12. All the way down, all the differences between the times are 12. If you want to know what 5 13 p.m. is if you're going to use if that if I was using 12 hours and I want to put 24 hour you would add 12 onto your 5 to make it 17 13 and that is how I would write it in 24 hour time. Something really important is that you keep that number line with you close by so we're using that quite a bit in our lesson today to help us work out some answers. For the second question today, I'd like to work out to which 24 hour time matches the time on the analog clock. So we have our analog clock here and our digital times below. So we have uh, five minutes past three, 25 past three, 25 past two, and five, five minutes past three. So this one is our evening time. So we've got an evening time here, an evening time here, evening time here, morning time here. So let's just work out which one. So let's start off by looking at the hour hand here. So the hour hand is past the three, but not past the four. So I know this time is going to be three, or if we add 12 to it, it could be 15. So straight away, it's not going to be that one. Then using what we learned on Monday's lesson, we could do our five jumps here. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25 that's where our minute hand is using these dots here and i was counting in fives so we've got 25 on our minutes we've got three 25 oops forgot should have it as four digits or 15 25 so we can see that does match to this one here so we've got our hours of 15 on minutes of 25 so that one wrong and that one would be wrong Okay, for your third question is, if a clock shows this time, the time could be 17.40 or 20 to 6. Let's have a look at that first. So have a go on your own, and I'll explain to you how I worked out the answer. So first of all, let's use the hour hand like I did last time. So the hour hand is in between the 5 and the 6. So that could either be 5, or if we add 12 onto it, could be 17. So put the 0 there. Next, let's have a look at our minute hand. So this time I would count back in five, starting at 60, because that is where I start at the top. So we've got 55, 50, 45, 40. You could, if you really wanted to count all the way forward up to 40, find that easier, that is perfect fine to do. I had to go count back, so I know the hand is closest to there. So we know that is the, that's there is 40 minutes, so let's put our 40 in there, 40 in there. Finally, one of these times is 1740, so this question would be true. And for your fourth question, I would like to look at this clock. Write the 24 hour time, it would match in the morning and the evening. So I need two different times when you hear. Carefully make sure you are looking at the hour and the minute hands. Have a go yourself, pause the video, and I'll come back and explain the answer.
Okay, starting off with our hour hand here. It has not gone past the nine, and here is the eight. So, so our hour is definitely be eight. Add 12 onto that would get you to 20. So they're going to be the two hours we're going to be working with. This is our morning hour here, not uh, evening hour here. Don't forget the four digits. That needs a zero in front of it. And next of our minute hand, you can either count forward in fives all the way up, or and count backwards. I'm going to count backwards starting so at six, six seconds in a minute. So I'm going back to 55, 50, 45, 40. So much like the other question, our minute hand is on 40. Writing our minutes here. So your morning time would be. Zero eight forty and our evening would be twenty forty or twenty two nine is what we could also say. And for your next question, some problem solving to do. The town hall clock is analog, it chimes every hour. But he looks at the time on his smartwatch, it reads ten past eight in the evening. If Billy waits until the next time the town hall clock chimes, how many times will he hear? Explain why. I would, when using the question, use the grid that we did for the first question to help you work out what the next hour would be, and that's how many chimes he will hear. Have a go at home and unpause the video, and I'll explain the answer. Okay, so if Billy waits until the next time, we know this time is 10 past 8 p.m. Already gone eight o'clock in the evening, and the next hour would be nine o'clock, same as 21, writing it in 24 hour time. And then, so he would hear nine chimes because it's nine o'clock in the evening. So, nine chimes. And for your next question. Maddie and Sean were supposed to be at the restaurant at 19.25. Here are the times that they arrived. You can see Maddie's time is here, Sean's time is here. Who arrived on time? Who arrived late? Have a go at home first. Okay, let's have a look at Maddie's time here. So Maddie starts with the hour clock. It's before eight, so her time would be seven. Um, adding on 12 again using that trick would be up to 19. And finally, the minutes here is on the 5. So once again, you do your, your counting, which would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We've got our 25 minutes there. 20 there. Uh, there's also a quick way you can work out the minutes. So you realize it, if you're counting up in 5s, so you get to your 5 here, you could do 5 times 5 equals 25. That may speed up. You can still use the jumps if you really want to. So Maddie arrived at 19.25, which matches our time up here. So Maddie arrived on time. Maddie left that one. And then let's find out how late Sean actually was. So once again, Starting off with the minutes, it's before the eight, so we know it's going to be a seven or 19. And finally, here's her minute hand here on the nine. So you can quickly, just if you want to, by doing nine times five, which is 45. But as I'm a mathematician, I like to check my answer another way as well. So this time I'm going to count back here at the top from 60. So we go 55, 50. 45, so I've got 45 again. I'm going to use the, the evening time here because it's one that's closest enough here. So 19.45. So Sean was actually 20 minutes. I'm going to write shorthand, go mint, late. And for your final question here for problem solving is the school clock is stuck. Oh dear. Uh, Holly, Mira, Dan are trying to guess correctly the two times the clock could be showing. So have a go at home. Make sure once again you're looking very closely at those hour and minute hands. Pause the video and I'll explain what the answer is. So looking closely here, I'm going to start off with the hour hand, like every single question. In between 10 
and 11 hasn't gone past 11 yet, so you know this is going to be 10. Or it's going to be 22 by adding 12 on and doing that trick I taught you at the start. So straight away you can see that Dan is incorrect because he's put 11 down for both of them, so he is not correct. So Mira has put 10 there, and Holly has put 10 there, so they're both correct at the moment. And Holly's put 22. Mirror's only put 20. But as I'm a mathematician, I'm just going to double check the minutes just to check again. Minute hand is on the 11 there. So once again, you can do quickly, you can do 11 times 5, which is 55. Or you can do your count back from 60 here to 55. Or you could count all the way around and get 55 that way. So these would be our two times here. We can see that Holly is correct because she's correctly got both the morning time and the evening time correct. Mira is wrong, unfortunately, because she's put 20. And if you were looking at your number line you used earlier, 20 is actually the same as 8 p.m. in the evening. So Holly would be the one who is correct. Fantastic, great work. Now it's your turn. Have a go at a challenge sheet you can find on the website and have an amazing rest of your day. Goodbye.